everybody. How are you? Happy Monday evening. It's a little after eight in Oklahoma City. Um, we're here for part three, or at least that's why I'm here. You may be here for something different, but part three is right now. So I have Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram all joining us this evening. I don't want to leave anybody out. So if you have any questions, I promise I'll go back after the video. But let's get started on part three of this one that I'm actually calling Under the Boardwalk. So I've been doing a summer series. Um, and I thought Under the Boardwalk sounds perfect because I'm doing five different shades of DIY paint. They're blues. So really quick recap, and then I'm gonna start rolling on um, some Old 57 with my uh, Lotus Roller from Artistic Painting Studio. So um, Friday night, I started with four different blues, Bohemian Blue, Old 57, uh, Mermaid Tail, and uh, Mint Chip. Okay, and then yesterday, we took paint, watered down in Hay Sailor, and we sprayed it all over the top of this. Hey guys, I'm so glad y'all are here. Thanks for joining me. I know it's a little bit late, uh, but a busy, busy day with a sick dog at the vet. <sighs> Antibiotics and prayers come this way for the pup. She's going to be just fine. Um, I'm sure of it. Old, no, hey sailor in this, sprayed it all over it. We let it drip. Then we sprayed a little bit of water. We let that drip a little bit more, and then we took this roller. We didn't put anything on the roller, and I actually just kind of rolled down the front of it as the water dripped and dried. Uh, thank you, Tracy. So it left a little bit of a pattern. So if you see the pattern here, it's the Lotus Roller, and this is my inspiration photo. It's a beautiful door image and tile, mosaic tile that I found on Pinterest, um, and I had to ask everybody in my group to find some sort of image, whether it be their own or not, and then interpret it either on a piece of furniture or some sort of project that they're working on. And that's what our challenge is for the month. And I thought, well, I'm gonna participate too because I love this. So I'm gonna hand paint um, some this iron design that's on the doors. I'm gonna actually do that onto these doors. But yesterday, we just, if you watched part two, you saw me kind of freak out because I absolutely loved the way the roller looked on here because I don't want a real loud statement, um, but I love, let's just pretend that the tile has a lot of variations in the color like it does here, right? You see all these different shades of blue. So what I wanna do tonight is do a very thin coat of Old 57, which is our very true turquoise, like an old Chevy 57 Chevy truck, kinda like my hat. I'm gonna roll it out and I'm gonna roll the roller through. These are from Artistic Painting Studio, you guys, and I'll put the link here if you're interested. I'm gonna roll the paint on that, and then I'm gonna lightly go over the entire surface of this. Then I'll sand it down once it's dried, because I don't want it to be really heavy, but I do wanna add a whole bunch of texture as if these tiles had this pattern on them from 100 years ago. And I'm picturing somebody hand-making these ceramic tiles. Um, that's kind of the envision that I have. So that's my inspiration on the piece. Um, so this is Old 57. It's a clay-based paint from DIY. Um, I'm gonna put it over here and then I'm gonna roll my artistic painting roller right over it. This is the Lotus. They have like 36 to 48 different designs, like I said. Um, Michelle, thank you for putting my link for the paint, you guys. Um, Michelle Rapogel there on Facebook just put down the link if you're interested. So let me get this on the roller. I don't want it heavy. And so it may come on a little bit louder because you know you can kind of see the texture right now. But I want it just a little bit darker, a little more vivid, but not in your face. Um, so because I've never done this before like this, let's hope it works. Nobody laugh. If you're gonna laugh at me, you've gotta go find another place to play, okay? All right. I'm just gonna go down. It's not gonna be perfect because again, let's pretend this was done 100 years ago, okay? Anybody good at pretending? I know I am. All right, let's do this. Again, it's gonna dry a little bit differently, but I also want you to imagine me hand painting the iron design on the front of these. Yeah, 
I don't know. The, the piece is going to be titled Under the Boardwalk because it's going to continue in my summer series. And since it's loaded up with gorgeous blues, what better than Under the Boardwalk? And the Carnival series. Oh, let's do that. Now, this little centerpiece, I haven't decided what I want to do for this little crest shape in here. So again, this is old 57. Somebody had stated earlier they didn't like it when I told the paint colors over and over, but I had, if I don't tell you the paint colors, somebody will say, what color is that? So I feel like when I'm doing the lives, I tell you the lives, I tell you the paint colors, so, because you're gonna ask. So I don't really know how to avoid that by, you know, not telling you the paint colors, because it's not a secret, I wanna make sure you know. But somebody said it was very annoying. I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to be annoying. I'm trying to be helpful. So you can kind of see the lotus, but again, I don't want it to be really vivid. And of course, we need this right here. Uh, I'll leave it right here. So I want it to just, I'll probably sand some of this back off because I, I want it to look like it was painted a long time ago. Um, and it's a little bit too bold right now. But as you see, my inspiration photo, these are the mosaic titles, ti titles, tiles that are covering up this wall. And so I'm trying to recreate something similar. This is just my inspiration photo. So I'm gonna hand paint this iron design on here. We'll probably do that tomorrow because I definitely need um, to get that to dry before, of course, we start with our, um, and we'll be hand painting that design with the Matt Scott, the, the fan brush. And I'll be just kind of going through here. That's the plan for that. But last night I had so much fun when we realized, or I realized, I wanted this lotus pattern all over the front of it. Um, and I'm probably gonna be adding that with golden ticket. I think that's what I wanna do. Kind of have a gold. Um, I may mix, I make a bronze um, by mixing half Golden Ticket and half Dark and Decrepit. It's in two different products from uh, DIY as well, and it gives it like this uh, dark bronze with a tiny bit of shimmer, and I love that. So I think I'll create that pattern here, and we'll do that tomorrow, but I need this to dry, and then I'll take my sanding sponge and soften it. I'll get the edges distressed a little bit more. So we have five colors of blue, we added the old 57 with the Lotus Roller. And again, I can get you my link for that um, if you're interested in trying some of Jennifer's rollers. Um, they're pretty easy. So what questions do you have before I let you guys go? I think it would be cool to mist it right now. See, I was just thinking, should I spray this or not? I need to do an under the big top too. Oh, Cindy, that's brilliant. Under the big top, not just under the boardwalk. That's what I should have done. But since it's blue, I was thinking water. I don't have your link for the rollers. No worries, I'll get that. Thank you, Michelle. I cannot wait to see the dark and decrepit and the golden ticket. It's really pretty. Uh, Laura says no. Um, so I was just thinking, do I want any of that to drip? Um, I think my favorite part is kind of up here, you guys, where it's real sporadic. It's not real clear the pattern. I like it when it's more like this. So what I think I'll do is really let it dry, use my sanding sponge, and let me show you what I'm talking about. A light, this is a 180 grit, and I will just kind of go over this and get rid of some of that pattern because I want it more random than this. Sound good? And then we'll mix up our dark and decrepit. We'll mix up our golden ticket and create our bronze. And then we will start trying to do something similar. I haven't done this before. I've painted flowers, but not like I haven't represented wrought iron or something like that before. Um, but I'm so inspired by this. And I really just want this for my front door. Anybody build this for me? Uh, just build the door and then we'll build the house around it. It gets that good, right? Um, okay, so this was part three. I know it's pretty basic. It was short and to the point, um, but I got to let it dry. I got to let it dry. If you guys, um, if you have, oh, thank you. You think it looks like my inspiration? Awesome. All right, you guys, I will be back tomorrow. I will talk to you soon. Good night.
Michelle, you're sweet. And Facebook cut out on me because it says the temperature is